Well, hello Libras. Welcome to Zen the Moon Goddess channel. We're here to do your reading for March the 21st through March the 27th of 2022. All right, Libras, we're going to continue with our education. And as you know, you are the justice card. Okay. Now, one thing I want to point out, you are normally the number 11th card. And of course, one of your meanings, balance, of course. Okay. Also cause and effect. So we go into it more in depth each week. Okay. Libras. All right. Now, we're going to do our reading, which is going to be the sins one. Where we are right now, Spirit. Where Libra is right now. Okay, Libra. You ready to go? What you need to know now? What the Libras need to know? Wow. Okay, action needed. Mm. Wow. <laughs> It's been, I don't know if you saw it. So that's very, that's a very important card right there. All right, your future. Mm. All right, Libras. Okay, now your advice. Advice. Okay. All right, Libras. Spirit wouldn't plan with you today. So, Libras, before we go any further. I like to ask, have you subscribed to Send the Moon Goddess channel? Well, you can by hitting that button over there to the right. You know, you really want to because a lot of new things are coming up. Education is one of them. Another one, a new channel. Ooh, I can't wait. I can't wait to tell you about it. Our contest is another. Again, Congratulations, Margaret Bauer. She won our first contest. She chose the prize of a free reading. All right, so you want to hit that button, don't you, Libras? Hit that button over there to the right. Now at the bottom of the deck, Libras, I'm hearing you releasing some, some old hurts. You're releasing them. Okay, now where you are right now. Ooh. We getting, we fighting to get ahead. We are fighting to get ahead. Of course, we're gonna clarify. All right, now, what you need to know is you need a little adventure, maybe travel. I mean, you're in travel far to, uh, um, maybe to a, a another country, abroad somewhere. Yes, but we gonna clarify, of course. All right, Libras. Action needed. See? Avenger, baby. You need some adventure in your life. Wow. They just so Gemini's almost the same thing. So if you're dealing with a Gemini, maybe y'all need to be planning that trip I told them about. <laughs> All right. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Here you go, Libras. Overthinking. Yes, you're overthinking things. And this is in your future now. They want you to be honest, truthful, and bold when you speak. Now, is a change coming your way? You've been working hard for this change. It's going to be rewarding. But you must speak up. And you must be bold, but you're gonna have to make some decisions. I I see that coming because all all this overthinking, you're overthinking for a reason. But it's some decisions coming, okay? Your advice, which you don't see coming, is some money. Something is coming your way, happy family. It could be an inheritance for some of you, but it is a money coming your way. Okay? The five of swords and where we are right now, spirit. Yeah. See, it's a change coming. I'm telling you, it's a change coming. And you're fighting it. But you're they telling you just to listen to your intuition and you you're settled down. So okay. Just listen to your intuition. 
Okay, what well, we need to know now with the Knight of Wands. Ooh. Ooh. They are really mm, talking to you, Libras. All right, Libra, somebody's coming towards you. They might not live close to you, but they're coming towards you with a lot of love. Yeah, this could be another water sign. But they really love you, and you, you really love them, actually. Yeah, you actually want to give them a, a love offer. Now, it, it, some of you, it could be commitment. Some of you could be moving. Some of you, it could be it, uh, just... Uh, recommitment in your marriage some of you is it's just love baby it's just love you just in love right now and you going for it and you celebrating it okay yes at first you you didn't think it was love i i see the birds you didn't think it was love you didn't think it was love at all you could be dealing with a water sign. <clears throat> water sign is Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I did Libra and Pisces as a couple. Um, look in the couples and you'll see it. It came out really nice. So you might want to pay attention if you're dealing with the uh, Pisces. And Libras, if you have um, someone that you might be in love with, maybe a Virgo I see maybe even Aquarius. If, if, just drop it down below if you want to hear a reading, okay? Because I am doing couples and um, I'm, I'm taking requests right now, all right? Yeah, so yeah, you guys will be celebrating. Yeah, <clears throat> but it, it, they're saying you need to go on some adventure. Yeah, you need to go on ahead. Go on some adventure. You need to take a vacation. You need to... You know, sow your oats a little bit. <laughs> That's what they said. <laughs> All right. They want you to take that leap forward. See? Because, you know, you've been patient all this time. You've been working hard. Things are coming your way. <clears throat> yes. This would nurture your soul, they said. Yes. Yes. See, it'll get you ready for this change that's coming, Libras. Because there is a change coming. So they, they're saying to take some time out, take a little adventure maybe, a little vacation, and and um, have fun. Because a change about to come. And that's probably why you're all up in your head. Because we know Libras don't like change, right? Nine of Swords. <laughs> Knight of Swords. I'm just saying. Yeah, you fighting it. Yeah, but you finding out that um about some work maybe or some orders or something to do with your business by communications, someone is recommending you. Yeah. So they want you to go in and work your magic so you can get these pentacles. Yes, this five of wands, please, spirit. Okay, yeah. See you. You fighting it a little bit. Things are 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 are, are coming in for you, like like they saying clockwork. And so, um, new ideas is coming your way, but you're not listening. Okay, so yeah, I'm, I'm hearing you. <laughs> you're not listening. <laughs> Oh, and this is a new person. Okay. And you're fighting. You're fighting it. Yeah, it's a new person. And it, and this is a wish that you had, a love that you had. Yeah. See, they saying you don't see it coming. This happy family, happy life. You don't see that coming. Yeah. You got to let go of jealousy. Libras, the jealousy has to go. They want you to be a little more carefree. Care -free. <laughs> okay. See, because you are being guided. You are being guided towards your wishes. 
Yeah, see? Now, some of you don't want this love offer. But this new change is coming because you don't want that either. I know already. It's going to bring in love. See? What you don't see coming is a happy family, happy life. <laughs> see? I told you. I knew it. I can feel it coming. Your soulmate. Okay? Your soulmate is around the corner. You've been manifesting them. So now they just asking you to listen to your intuition. And once they come, they want you to go on a trip to enjoy each other. Plan it. Okay. So you could stop feeling sorry for yourself. Yeah, that is this love is going to be a wonderful romance for you, Libras. Yeah. Lifetime of Abundance of love. Okay. Libras. Happy family. Happy life. That's what I'm hearing. You could be dealing with a Virgo or an Aquarius. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Communications is coming in. And if you need to do the communications. They want it done now. All right. The Eight of Swords. Yeah. They want you to have fun. Because everything is cool. And they keep saying have fun. And fun is going to be had. The Ten of Pentacles, please. Mm -mm. See, some of you... This is all about a commitment that you want. You want to be married to this person. They want you to go ahead and plan on the two of y'all being committed to each other and healing each other and having fun with each other. Wow. Libras is Faith. Look at this. The star. Now this is again Aquarius. I got Pisces. Aquarius. Taurus. Virgo. And Leo. And Taurus again. You're going to get the love. But they want to make sure you know. You're giving out love, but you need to receive it too. So some of you are, are, are not allowing the love. You're trying to block it. You're blocking it. Unblock your heart, Libras. Unblock your heart. It's time for you to go towards love. And happiness. Look at this. Communicate. How you feel. Communicate how you feel about this person. Libras. Now. It could be a water sign that you're dealing with. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Please, Libras, look at Pisces and Libra. Okay? And then there... there it could be another Libra you're dealing with, Gemini or Aquarius. But Gemini is strong here and so is Pisces. Okay. Yes, I see a lot of love. But you guys need to go on a vacation. You need to communicate more. I've been saying that a lot to a lot of the signs. So it needs to be, I think because of the moon is going to be in Virgo, and that's communication. But right now, you need to communicate how you feel about this person. So everything will be okay. And go on that vacation and have fun. All right, leave us. <laughs> Keep that balance. I am sending the moon goddess, and I cannot let you go without asking you to like and share this video and leave us 
hit that button over there to the right to subscribe to Sin the Moon Goddess channel. And I am Sin the Moon Goddess. And Libras, I'm out of here.